Mom always said, don't play with your food, but she never said anything about your drink. Shaq Shackelford has the buzz around town. Once a month, local baristas go head to head to determine who has the best latte art in town. Ready, set, go. If you have good latte art on the latte, it's probably gonna be a good latte. Well, you need good espresso, because good espresso is gonna have good crema, which is a microfoam on top of fresh espresso. Um, and that crema is crucial to be able to get latte art and good latte art. So when you're texturing milk, you're making bubbles and you're spinning it as that steam turns the milk. As you spin it, uh, you make larger bubbles and gives you this microfoam that is necessary. That's the magic. When you judge it, they try to make it somewhat objective, but when you judge it, you're looking for things like definition, symmetricality, you know, how much detail there is. So I'd give this one to Garth, definitely. The guys at Double Shot Coffee are one of several baristas who often participate. It's a $5 buy-in, winner takes the cash and bragging rights. Here's another monthly competition in Tulsa, if you can call it that. You can find these crazy wrestlers in costume at Elote Cafe downtown. They're called luchadors, with names like El Diablo and Barfly. Beer to me is like spinaches to Popeye. The streets are sometimes blocked off, or the fight takes place right in the restaurant. Either way, the quirky fights are all in fun. It doesn't matter if it's five people or if it's 5,000 people, it's still a huge rush just to be able to put on a good show for people. For The List, I'm Shaq Shackleford.